hard. Uh -huh. It has to be harder than that. So the diamond is the hardest. So we use a diamond that's with abrasives and uh, we bind together with a lacquer. And see, look at this. So this is how it is possible to make them so precisely. Wow. Otherwise, how could you do that precise job? So these are very special tools which we make by ourselves. Don't think that they are, these tools are available in the market. You have to prepare by yourself. Now, look at the once and complete single flower. Just amazing. See? Wow. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, it is. Four point three million such individual pieces were shaped. What's your name, please? My name Thomas. 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 That's why it took 22 years to finish it. And you've been told that it took 22 years and 20,000 artists were there mm -hmm. who worked for it. Out of 20,000, 12,000 were just for this art. 12,000. Whatever floral patterns you have seen there, beside that, there are some uh, uh, Quran calligraphy also. Yeah. That else also be done same way with the same process now i'm going to tell you in a little bit more detail but if suppose you have any doubt any question which you can follow then you can ask me the question as well okay, okay. suppose to work on this piece first of all we need to apply a temporary color mm -hmm. so that all these markings carvings could be visible distinctly to you so, do you, uh, do you know henna? Henna, no. You don't know henna? Have you seen people, they use henna for coloring hair? It's a natural dye. Yeah, Africa. Or maybe some women, they use, uh, they make. Yeah, Africa, North, uh, uh, Morocco, Egyptian. Exactly. right. Yeah. Because either in this Indian subcontinent or over there, they yeah. are using especially on the auspicious occasions. Mm -hmm. So, henna itself is very auspicious thing. And this is the only color on which you could focus well and concentrate well. That's why we prefer using henna for it. After henna, we need to make these lines to get the symmetry within the lines, the designs to be drawn. And who makes the design? The shaper, not the carver. The reason is, Suppose you are a shaper and you are asked to work for this piece, you know about your shaping skills, what patterns you can shape well, what you can't do. So keeping in view that, we are going to make your patterns there. Got it? Mm -hmm. Once the designs are done, then you need to decide about the gems, which goes exactly where. See, which letter they marked here, L. L for lapis lazuli, the blue one. Mm -hmm. L, turquoise, shell, coral, malachite, so they have to mark it. After marking, accordingly they are going to copying them, replicating it. But, what you need to do Thomas, you have to just go one by one and just one on one. So that there will be some variation of color texture from one petal to another. Looks more natural. Yeah. Like example here. This petal is slightly different than this one. That is different than next one. So this is how the flower looks more neat, natural, real. Smooth. Now, after copying, when you start shaping it, mm -hmm. And once you complete the shaping work, then on the reverse side of the piece, look at this. This is very interesting. So just pay attention. The 
edges all around of each and every piece you have to get them beveled inwards of 35 to 40 degrees it should be like this 35 degrees it shouldn't be straight 90 no it should be 35 degrees so that this sits in well so it's going to be flush on the top the glue could hold the piece from the side won't let any piece to fall off and thirdly the most important all these pieces when placed into the cavity mm -hmm. where there is also a 35 degrees beveled edge made on the cavities all around by the carver he is going to make that 35 degree so that these outer pieces could match with it and they slide inwards when they slide inwards they get interlocked and once they get interlocked it can come off glue remains underneath it has no way to come out. Come out. I think you would, you would have not seen any glue mark there in the Taj Mahal. This is the reason. So how long have you been doing it? Me, 31 years. How old are you now? When, when, I, when I started, I was 14 years old. 14? One point. Sorry. <coughs> this makes sorry. Now. Once the flower done, they put it there and then they trace outline with a chisel mm -hmm. to make sure about the size of the cavity because these are not yet inlaid, they have to be inlaid now. Mm -hmm. so for that, they trace an outline, remove them, make the cavities and then put them inside. Okay. So that was trace. Pardon? That was trace, cutting now. Trace it, cut it. Yeah, yeah. Trace it and cut it. And after that comes the most special thing of the process and that is glue. So we are using a same glue, same recipe which has been used for the Taj Mahal because that glue, once used, it becomes like a part of the marble because it gets fused with it. And that's why it remains for thousands of years. Taj Mahal is 400 years old already. So 400 it, years? Yes, it's, it's still intact. Taj Mahal. 400? Yeah. So that's not long? 400, that's not long? Yeah, it's 400 year old. Yeah, it's but old, but that, I mean, I thought it was more than 400, but I'm just, so it's not that long. Yeah. But this glue would last forever. Everything will your Taj Mahal still look like a new building. It yeah. doesn't look like as 400 years old yeah. building. So this is... And Agra is particularly famous this for this art. What makes this glue to get fused with the marble? Can you guess? Uh, no. No. Okay. See, we use organic compounds. Mm -hmm. We use organic compounds mainly rich in calcium and protein when such combination is used on the marble which is also rich in calcium carbonate have you studied in chemistry yeah so this marble is also rich in calcium carbonate Purity table. so once you use this glue in a layer form the glue starts precipitating with the marble and keeps on precipitate blend together to mend together. So very similar reaction takes place in a human body also. Like when we get a fracture, the bone get fractured, the healing of broken bone, even if you don't take many days, even in a single day, it will heal up it naturally is, yeah. after a particular period of time. So to complete the reaction, it takes around three months to get it fused together. And once the glue gets set, they can polish it, finish it. So this henna color goes up and then becomes there are it looks like that. Agra is famous all over the world for this stuff. For this art. This is the finest, most exquisite art of the world. It's been recognized by UNESCO organization as art of the millennium. This is called art of the millennium. So how long it take to do this? Almost one year. Iski rakh me dikhana. And 
still lot of work to be done here in this area also. You yeah. know what? The stems, mm -hmm. stems are still to be made. Uh, so one takes some how long? To this? Mm -hmm. Maybe one, one to one and a half year, this one. Just this one right Just now? Of course. See, there are thousands of pieces here and they are going to fit over there. And see how tiny these pieces are. It will be very hard to imagine. So this right now, one year? Ha, almost. See, look at this. There are so many pieces. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. And those five pieces are glued together because they are so tiny. They can't be placed in a cavity in a better form. Also, they cannot make like uh, the 35 degrees beveled edge on the pieces. Mm -hmm. So they have glued it together, make it larger and then collectively make it 35 degrees. See, uh, this is the reason. That's why I said thousands of pieces there. See, do you see in between shell there's a turquoise line? Mm -hmm. Imagine, imagine how hard. <laughs> yeah, no, 